and then now we have case 4 case 4 the object is between 2f and f but if you when you have an object that's between 2f and f you will have an image over here if you draw it correctly you can see this image is slightly different it has become bigger the nature of the image is real inverted and enlarged this image is actually bigger than the object and the image location will be beyond 2f from 2f to infinity now you have seen all of this in your classrooms most likely basically this would be your school's projector the teacher probably projects something from the visualizer or the computer that would be the object and then it makes it much bigger onto the screen so that you all can see it and that would be your image therefore your image is bigger so the users of this would be your slide projector or your film projector and so now we have case 5 which is it gets even more interesting so now the object is exactly on the focal point on the left side so what what will happen now let's take a look so if we draw the basic line down through the center okay and then we draw the parallel line to the principal axis and it hits the lens and when you draw it through the focal point after that you see a strange thing how come these two lines can't intersect maybe you draw it all the way to the bottom of the page and you're like oh I can't really um get them to intersect so how do i get my my image well the answer is that you don't so this is pretty cool so actually it produces a parallel line and this can be used for something it's not used for nothing now let's talk about the nature of the image first okay the image is called upright i know you can't see it very well however you can see these little dotted parts at the back and you're supposed to try to extend these behind as well so um in theory the image should actually be on the same side as the object and somewhere here okay somewhere like very far away perhaps and somewhere here but it is supposed to be over here so if it was over here right it would be a gigantic arrow over here sort of imagine it that way and you can call it upright and if it's over here right it means actually it is not a real image so this image is actually called a virtual image and this image cannot be formed on a screen this image will also be enlarged much bigger than the object so, you, so over here you can see that the image distance is infinity which and it will be on the same side as the object so what are the users for this imagine this okay has anyone been to the theater before one person sings on the stage and there's a spotlight shining on him right and the spotlight can actually follow the person as he walks around the stage the ring of the spotlight as it travels around with the person the edges of the ring of light do not become um, unfocused um, they stay quite sharp no matter where you point it that's that's quite cool right and that's because they use this same concept they actually have a light bulb over here imagine a light bulb standing up put over here and then they shine it towards a lens now the lens right would then direct the light all the light through here would actually become parallel rays a little bit like a laser incidentally that's also the way lasers work lah. yeah so all the rays will actually shine like this and shine towards the stage over here and that's how you get your spotlight so the spotlight produces a parallel beam of light shining onto a stage okay so now let's talk about k6 k6 is pretty difficult to understand so let's give it a try the object is now is placed between the focal point and the lens if you draw the lines from it you will see that one line goes through the center that's fine so after you draw the line that's parallel and you draw it through the focal point on the other side you will notice that these two lines diverge now this is bad because because you're supposed to get them to converge right so you will not get any convergence over here however you can get it if you can extend these lines backwards so put a ruler here and do that put a ruler here and extend the line use a dotted line though use a dotted line like this and you use the dotted lines because these are actually virtual light lines they're not real okay at a point where these two dotted lines converge you can draw an arrow over here and this will be your image but this image would also be not real it will be virtual the arrow image that you draw must be dotted the nature of this image will be virtual it cannot be placed onto a screen upright and enlarged and the image distance will be more than the object distance now the uses of this would be a magnifying glass 
Now, try to stay with me and try to understand. Now, if anyone has a magnifying glass at home, look into it. You will see that it clearly makes the object larger, right? However, if you look closely, you will also see the sense that the image that you're seeing through the magnifying glass seems to be further as well. So your image not only looks larger, but further. And that's what you see when you look through from here, which means light comes from the object and goes to your eyes. But actually what you see from this direction tends to make you see an image that is both bigger and further away. And that's how you use the lens as a magnifying glass.